Okay, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be painting the grill on my 2000 Ford Expedition. After they get to be as old as this one, they start not looking too good. You get those little faded out spots all in them and they just look real bad. Uh, emblem on it's, you know, in fairly good shape. I, I try to keep it up in good working order. I got new headlights on the way, so might as well go ahead and freshen up the grill. So what we got, I went to Ace, you know, the helpful place. Got just a basic can of Krylon Fusion for plastic. You know, this will be a start off. I'm not going to plasti dip it or anything like that. I just don't have the time or the patience to be waiting for that to get in the mail or to want to deal with it when it starts peeling because I've plasti dipped a couple things on that and it just it did not work out too well and I had to take it off I had plasti dip the rims on it so we're just gonna have to re think how we'll paint those but I'm gonna get everything set up here and I'll be right back okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a paper towel it rained last night so there's not gonna be much surface dust on it but I'm just gonna go in between you know wipe off these areas here that may have some dirt in and around on them. I just cleaned it a couple days ago so it shouldn't be too bad. And you know, it's fall time so there's not gonna be much surface dirt on it. Hold on one second, let me get my hand out of the way. And it's going in and it's kind of rubbing down. I've tried everything. I've put wheel wet on here. I've put WD-40 on here. I mean, it'll look good for a little while and then it turns back to this awful faded look, so. We're going to give this a try now. I just got to make sure everything's good and dry because after the rain I've driven it all over town today. And got up on the interstate for a little while which has really helped. This was soaking wet this morning. But we'll see what we can get out of it here. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to start the masking up and I'll be back. Okay, just so that way I don't even have to worry about masking off the hood and we got to get under there anyways. Unless you want to spray paint your grill and go in through and get to the radiator. I doubt it would be much. But I want to see how easy this piece right here is to remove. I know it's dirty under here. It hasn't been cleaned in about a year and a half or so. So we're going to get in here and see if we can get these little tab screws out without breaking them. Should have, I'll have six so. How many you should have. And I'll have to end up taking this off anyways because I'm going to get down in here and see what we can do with all this. Actually, I'm going to see if I can just take this whole piece off, but I'll be back. Okay, so these are little plastic screws that are in here. So we'll see if we can get them to back out here. have to strip that one. It's not one to back out any. So you can see about this one. One of my buddies, his truck, it's just uh, little black plastic tabs. You get a pair of pliers here and get a hold of these. I'm just going to put them in my pocket because they are really small. And they will blend in with gravel very, very well. So. This tends to seem like they don't want to back out very easily. There, got it. It's another down. See if we can get this problem one over here to go. And I'm going to have to set you guys down for a second and I'm going to need both hands to try this. Just by prying that edge up a little bit and put enough pressure on the threads, I was able to get it out. So, three more. And then this whole plastic piece, of course, you, you'll need to remove the uh, bar here for 
get in your spare tire. But um, if you can't, let's see if I can do this with one hand. If you can't get on the back out like I'm having another problem with this one, I just got a little wood chisel here, you know, really flat edge. I'm just getting it right up under the edge there and just lifting enough to put some pressure. And they seem to be backing out just fine with that. I'm going to have to have both hands for this one as well, I think. Yep. All right. 